There are some things in life truly worth knowing. We all want to be empowered to make the best life choices that will enable us to live our best lives. Orquick presents Life as We Know It, a series of interactive panel discussions for women by some of today's leading experts and notable influencers. Demetria Lucas, author and relationship expert, Dr. Rachel Ross, physician and sexologist, and me, Jackie Reed. There is no sexual matter Dr. Rachel will not talk about. No matter where we went, we could count on our resident doctor to keep the conversation colorful. She has a unique yet honest way of approaching life, love, and sex. With years of medical practice under her belt, Dr. Rachel always leaves us walking away informed and entertained. Here are the top tips from Dr. Rachel Ross. Tip number one, ladies, you have the power. Why is it that women are coming into the clinic with STDs and HIV and then not only does she have it, her sister has it. We got to really change the way we're doing things and make men do what's necessary because we have the power. I mean, men buy Jordan so they can get pussy. You know, like, it is very powerful. They get their hair cut. They get rims. They get cars for us. So we have, we have the power to control how that situation goes and we got to take the power back. Tip number two, take responsibility. When there's a cheating situation and some infidelity, we can't say that both parties didn't contribute to the situation. There's always a contribution there. Well. Whether it's a guy cheating or a girl <laughs> cheating. I mean, like, you want to reconnect and rebuild with someone. You really have to forgive and figure out what went wrong and what part we played in it. Because if you're the type of person that in anything goes wrong in your life, you don't figure out what part you played in it, mm -hmm. then you've missed the whole point of life. You have to figure out what part you played in it. Tip number three, have the conversation. Some of my friends will say, well, we've been dating for about three months, so, I mean, I'm on birth control now, so we don't use them. I'm like, well, we missed the step. We missed the step of figuring out whether or not that person had anything. When you can get people to be honest with you to the point where they don't feel like they're, you're judging them, they'll tell you. They'll be like, well, no, I didn't even think about it. He just put it in and took it, you know, it was just for a few minutes. Tip number four, know the facts about HIV infection. The way that HIV is transmitted is through cuts and tears on the surface of your vagina or your penis. You notice, ladies, if you are ever with a guy and you guys have had sex for two or three hours, the next day, you're like, girl, oh, I, don't, I don't even feel comfortable sitting through class. And what that is is because there's these little micro tears throughout the area of your vagina. That, those micro tears, is how you get infected with HIV. Because the HIV virus is in, is in breast it. milk, so if you're actually pregnant or sucking on someone's nipple and they're pregnant, it can be transmitted that yeah. way. Yeah. It's in blood, it's in semen, and it's in vaginal fluids. Mm -hmm. So when you keep it in mind, and you know all those different fluids, and if he ejaculates on your body and you have a cut or a fresh tattoo or a new piercing or something like that, and it just sits there and you let it marinate and go to sleep, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? What's happening is you well have increased your risk of hilarious. getting into the lunch break. Tip number five, be strong, know your worth. You can't have self-worth and high self-esteem if you're not contributing to the universe. I find that women who just are existing and, you know, not smiling, having anger issues, and, and just aren't contributing to the universe in any particular way, aren't doing any good deeds on a daily basis, those are the ones who have a lot of trouble with their self-esteem. So until women find that, and guys too, because we're all suffering from self-esteem issues here, until we start doing that, then, it's, then we'll never really be at that space where self-worth and putting yourself on that pedestal is, is a part of daily life. We encourage you to learn more about AuraQuick. On our site, you can find product information, instructions on how to use the kit, and more episodes from our Life As We Know It series. Click on where to buy to find a retailer near you or purchase AuraQuick online. Know it.